Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be talking about the Evi Daily Defense Face Mousse in SPF 50. This I actually find very interesting and I saw it at my local drugstore. To be honest, I think the packaging is actually very boring and a little bit old fashioned. So I've seen it there for many, many months and just wasn't interested, mostly because of the packaging and also because it's a mousse. And um, it just didn't make sense to me. Like why would anybody want to use a mousse as SPF? I mean, I'm not really too much into the sprays or the powders. I like a usual moisturizer type of SPF, something that's easy to apply. But I've been hearing a lot of great things about it from people that live around me. I saw a fantastic review by Lab Muffin where she talks about the science regarding this sunscreen. And it just, she basically kind of made me want to buy it. So I did. It, I'm not gonna lie, it's pretty pricey for a sunscreen, but it's, you know, I've bought $50 ones, so this is nothing in comparison to that. But if it works, it works. Also, it has this claim that this lasts a very long time on your face. You know, sometimes they say reapply after two hours. This one, I believe, is longer, like six or eight hours. I was like, whoa, that would be fantastic if you just put that on. I have used it a few times now, and so far for people with dry skin, this is a huge thumbs up. And um, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and apply it and see how it goes from there. To apply, you shake the bottle and hold the bottle upside down, carefully pressing out the desired amount of mousse. Use a golf ball sized amount on your face and neck. Be careful around the eyes and it can be used on your lips. It's very spongy and pretty easy to apply once you get the hang of it. I like to use it by just placing it directly onto my skin and patting it on, looking to make sure that I get it all over my face evenly, but not too thick. You can also work the mousse into a more liquid consistency between your hands and apply it that way. I have tried it using a spatula and a face brush, but I find that it's very hard to see where you're placing and how much you're actually putting on your skin. So I find this way the easiest for myself. Within a few minutes, it does start to sink into your skin, about five to 10 minutes. And once it does, it remains a little bit sticky, but very moisturized. And it's easy to use under your foundation. Here are some fun facts. It's water resistant, long lasting, and it doesn't rinse off. It absorbs quickly and makes it easy to obtain the recommended amount of sunscreen. It has a five star or maximum UVA protection. It is preservative free since it has a hygienic aerosol bottle that remains sealed. It doesn't leave a white film and it does not clog pores. This can be used as a primer under makeup and it also protects your skin from any irritation that can be caused by makeup. You can use it on your scalp and on thin beards. It's also great for people with eczema or acne. It has no nanoparticles, has no preservatives, as I said, and it is perfume free. It's also vegan. Protects against UVA, UVB, and HEV radiation. In case you didn't know, HEB light exposure can lead to inflammation, impaired healing,
compromise melanogenesis, sensitivity, dryness, wrinkles, uneven tone and texture, and sagging skin. It has a total of five ingredients that help with UV protection. It also has ingredients for brightening and anti-aging, including vitamin E. This just has everything but the kitchen sink. I really love how this looks without foundation and under my foundation. It can feel, it does feel a little bit sticky once you apply it, but I think that really grabs the foundation and pulls it onto your skin. And after a few minutes, it just looks so dewy and lush and hydrated, and it feels really, really good. The stickiness eventually goes away, but it never dries out my skin. And so I'm really looking forward to trying this during the winter months and seeing how it does in colder weather, colder, drier weather. But so far, I'm really liking this. I did apply some under my eyes, under my eyes, and I, you need to be very careful there because it is thick and it is sticky. So I just did pat it in under my eyes. If you just pat it in very lightly and then let it sit for a bit and then pat it in a little bit more, then you, should, you shouldn't have a problem. It doesn't have, it's not caking up on me. I, it's not accentuating any of my lines and I'm really happy about that. My 11s here, it seems to be Okay, I won't say that it's gone, but it looks better. And that's all I can hope for. The lines on my neck also look so much be better and smoother. And I absolutely hate those. Those are, my neck is like one of my biggest insecurities. So it, I appreciate that it helps so much. And I've had this on now for over an hour and I can still feel that it feels very moisturized. A little tacky, but I'm okay with that as long as it moisturizes. And uh, I highly recommend this for anybody with dry skin. I know it can be difficult to get. I live in Europe, so if you live in Europe, you probably have easy access to this. In the United States, it's a little bit harder to get. I'm gonna put some links that hopefully will help you to find it if you wanna give it a try. There are some places that you may have to buy in a bigger quantity, but if you have some friends that wanna try it out with you, then I say give it a go. I, um, for now, I can't see myself stopping to use this. And although I don't believe in there being anything as a holy grail, because to me, if you call something a holy grail, you better not ever change it. <laughs> That's how I feel. So that term kind of gets to me a little bit, but it is definitely one of my favorites that I've tried in a very long time. I hope you like this review. And if you do, please consider subscribing to my channel as I'm going to be uploading a lot of stuff. I have tons of stuff to review and try. And uh, if you're over 50, then please give it a thumbs up. And I hope to see you soon.